Howdy y'all. As I mentioned in a previous episode, we finished the major remodel of my new lair quite some time back. I've already filled the toy museum section with my stuff, and I have things pretty well organized where I want them. Of course, I do plan on giving you a full walkthrough of that area soon, so make sure you're subscribed and have your notifications turned on so that you don't miss that. But right now, I wanted to show you the first project we tackled in here. It was very important to me that I installed my reloading bench right off. You know, so I could get back to shooting. Now I knew where I wanted to put the reloading bench in the new space, but since the bench was custom built to fit in my previous room, it didn't quite fit flush against this new wall. Of course, I didn't want to cut off the end of the table, so I knew in order to make it fit, I was going to have to get creative with the new wall it was going on. And yeah, it almost seems like it would have been easier to cut the table rather than modify the wall or the space that the table was going on but I also wanted to make an accent wall in my workshop area because, well, why not? And the wall that the bench was going on was my first choice for doing that. So considering both of those factors, I decided to take some of the leftover trim board from an area we tore down during the remodel and use those to make my accent wall. Reclaimed wood or barn wood is currently pretty popular for decorating so I thought I'd give it a try. Jessica and I measured all the boards and started cutting and mounting them to the wall. And for mounting, I used a couple of dabs of liquid nails and then a staple gun to staple the boards both to the wall and then to each other. This worked out great. I ended up having enough leftover lumber to get right up to the height of the reloading bench. Now, once we had established that it was gonna fit on the wall where I wanted it, we drilled the concrete for anchors and attached the legs to the floor. After that, we placed the bench on top of the legs, secured it to the wall, and continued placing lumber on the wall above the bench.
Of course, as luck would have it, we ended up running out of the leftover trim board that I had, so we had to make a quick trip to Home Depot to pick up these Go AWOL barn wood slats. Now I figured two boxes would be enough to get me to the top of the door jam, which is where I had intended to stop. And that did get me to that point, but after looking at it, I decided I wanted to continue on and do the rest of the wall. So I bought one more kit and we did just that. Now once this project reached that point, it was time to start cranking out rounds for the few cowboy action shooting matches that were still on. Several had been canceled due to the pandemic, but I was prepared for those that were still on. Like nice. that one. Clean. Clean shooter. 3032. Gotta like that one. Oh, that was sweet. Boy. And that's the short story of how we got this wall done. I hope it inspires you to start or finish a project on your list. It seems like with all the quarantining, we have ample time around the house. So let me know what you think of the looks of this wall down in the comment section. Of course, if you like it and this video, feel free to give me a thumbs up by clicking on that like button. And if you're new here and want to be part of my next adventure, make sure you subscribe to my channel. I'm Jed, this is Jedi TV, and I'll see you in some other place and some other time. Oh, and Santee, yeah, it took me two tries to get the intro again. I'm out. Of course, if you like it and this video, feel free 